Hello YouTube, and welcome to another shaving edition of The Cutting Edge. <laughs> Today we're going to be using Macro Roof Shaving Cream. I know y'all you know, out there, you know this is one of the best, slickest shaving creams out there. It's got some really good ingredients. It's got Brazil, let's see, where is it? Softening Community Trade Brazil Nut and Sesame Seed Oils and Aloe Vera. And experience a closer shave. Skin softening cream to encourage easy razor glide and Peruvian macro root. Alright people, that's the cream I'm using. I'm fellow white shavers, I'll continue. The blade I'll be using today is Persona Red Platinum. The razor here. The ever popular Ming Shi 2000S Mercury Future clone. And I will be using it on setting number two right there. You can see it a lot better now. Setting number two to start. As you can see how aggressive that can be on a two. That opening right there. You can see it really good right there. Really white tunnels. Okay, that's the um, razor, and today I'll be using a very special brush. It is a custom made by Greg Wagner himself, oh, Brian Griffin, from Family Guy. It comes right off of there. He's standing there drinking his martini. This is the back side there on, on the stand. Fire hydrant. He's just chilling right there with the head on because the head's in my hand. <laughs> All right, now let's get let's get to lathering, shall we? Hmm. All right. And this macro root, it came like that because it kind of sunk down. But what you can do is just get you a little fingertip. That's it's a shaving cream. Just get about about this much. Okay. I'm sorry I forgot to mention it, but if you're wondering what's on my face, I don't know if you can see it. I do have some growth. But I put on that cube pre-shave soap. I washed my face with it in the shower in warm water. And then after that I put it on again on the shaving part on my beard and just let it sit there since. And then when I got out of the shower, I rubbed it in like you would do a pre-shave cream and then settle on my face. So it'll re-moisten I think when I put on the cream. Alright. I'm going to use my ever so popular shaving bowl. Handmade. Alright. I'm just going to smear it down here on the bottom. Carry it there. This is a very slick cream. And combined with this pre-shave soap the cube intergalactic pre-shave which contains glycerin by the way <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't look like I'm looking directly at y'all I'm just the way my camera is positioned in here okay let me wet the brush let me warm that water up it's kind of cool all right get some good warm hot water on the brush <laughs> Got a few good flicks dripping but not wet that's what it looks like okay I'm going to get the bowl lather in here. Okay. Doesn't take very long. It starts all bubbly and then you just keep going. Get for you to see me lathering my bowl. Oh, and also this brush is a 24 millimeter synth uh, synthetic tuxedo knot. Good. Really getting that sour cream to it. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what, this with the cube is going to be one a heck of a slick shave. I mean, itself, the macro root cream is like you're skating on something. <laughs> but combine it with this glycerin oil, like natural oils and stuff in this uh, cube pre-shave soap from phoenixshaving.com 
and the menthol. So this will make it a mentholated macro root. And that's that's super awesome. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever done it unless they use like a mentholated pre-shave. You know, if you use like Parasso Green Pre-Shave Cream, you would have already done it too. Alright, this is good. Good mayonnaise that sour cream consistency here. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that goodness. <laughs> Alright. Let me wet the face. There's some warm water. I can feel the sweetness before I put the cream on. Thanks so, no, thanks to that cube methylated intergalactic pre-shave soap. <sighs> Let's sit much longer than I ever have before. So this will be a good test right here. Let it sit for about 20 minutes or longer on my face and then wet it. Okay, let me gather some soap here on my... Alright, now that'd be good for a first pass right there. tips a little bit and go over it again. Maybe I'll work in some of that pre-shaved soap a little bit. I'm not sure if it's boosting this lather, but it also is supposed to boost your lather. But this doesn't really need the boost. I don't usually get too much anyway. cream. I found it on sale too. Man, I'm glad I did. Okay. And it was with the brush too. But today I'm using that really good brush. Not that, that the other one's not a good brush, but I really wanted to test it out with different brushes. Alright, I'm going to wet the razor under some warm water. And again, Mercurfut or sorry, Mercury Future Clone Ming Shi 2000S on setting number three. Going with uh, going with the growth. Hear that feedback? As you can tell I really need a shave. It's so slick. It's epic. So really need pressure, make really light touch. Thirty degree thirty degree angle or so. There's so much residual slickness too. All right, I'm going to rinse the razor. I'm going to go for the mustache and the chin area. And these razors are notorious for being difficult on that. All right, Kevy Shaves method. Thank you for that, Kevy. That really helps out. Yeah. Very comfortable. I'll get some more on my second pass. Right. Rinse the razor. Time for the neck. I got that weird direction right there on my neck. So it's always hard to get that spot right there really good. Mm -hmm. 
So how have all you been? I've been doing pretty good. I did a little bit of yard work today. Kind of warm out today. Other, other than that though, it really got cool tonight. The weather's going to start getting cool as we're getting into fall. And this setting on three is fairly mild. Fairly mid aggression. I'd say it's more between mild and mid aggression. But it's very comfortable. And again, that cream is just absolutely astounding. I highly recommend trying it if even if you're a beginner. I mean, it's very forgiving cream. And they don't take as much water as a soap would, especially if they're very thirsty soaps. All right, first pass done. Let me uh, rinse my face off here. Oh, I'm trying to get on my glasses. But yeah, I'm hoping everyone's doing well and they're having good shaves. <laughs> and this stuff got all up on top and all right. places it shouldn't be. <laughs> all right then. Time to apply for pass number two. Where we go across the grain. Hmm. Love this cream. I'm not feeling the menthol from the cube pre shave. Hmm, maybe I uh, lost some of it. I don't know. But the slickness is definitely there, folks. <laughs> so if you have a cube pre shave soap and this soap, you should really give it a shot. It's like a super slick boost. Well, it would be with any of the soaps you use with it, but this is a slick soap combined with that. Really good pre-shave. All right. I'm going to dial this down to uh, one and a half. I can kind of feel the razor already. I can feel the where it's cut. So I'm going to dial it down to half. One and a half. All right. Persona Red, Platinum, um, Stainless Steel. Yeah, Super Stainless Steel Blade. And Mingxi 2000S across the growth. There we go. Comfortable. Cody Shaves Method. All right, I'm going to rinse the razor. Always remember, no pressure to very little pressure. So you understand how much to put into it, or right, tell you how much you. Well, let me rephrase that and tell you know how to handle your razor and get a muscle memory. Let's see. There we go. I was trying to resituate or resituate myself there. Okay. Okay. So, um, rotate. And that's what I'm doing. I'm rotating my razor. Very important. And rinse off. 
right. Pretty much doing Paul H's double chin. It helps me get under my neck because it's hard for me to reach under my neck. And this side of my neck is kind of like this one too. And this one, this little portion here likes to go against the grain. All right. Look at that. You still feel, hear that feedback. All right. Rinse it off. All right. I'm going to rinse my face off again. First. Warm water. Mm. All right. All right, I'm gonna kind of relather this just a tiny bit. Work the soap back up. I'm gonna do my pickups all over my face. instead of a third pass because like I've said before I can't really handle a third pass all over I mean under my chin I get cut when I try to go a third pass underneath my chin same thing under my mustache and that's very common for that for a lot of folks because it's such a coarse area and very sensitive too this brush is astounding pickups And I'll keep it on the setting one and a half on the Ming Shi 2000S. Okay, I'm gonna was it again. Okay. You still kind of hear it cutting, especially in the chin area. Oh, oh I kind of felt sharp there. That was the way I was going at it. <laughs> Light touch. Fuck, I'm doing a little more than I should be. Oh, gonna cut right there. And the blade's catching me. I'm getting a little too excited. <laughs> Still getting used to making these YouTube videos for all my fellow subscribers. As well as uh, any new wet shavers out there. Rinse the razor off. Yeah. A weird spot. I don't always get this 100%. Oh, another weeper right there on my neck. See, when I shave without making videos, I got a lot less um, nicks on my neck and my face. I did more when I started. But since I started doing these videos, I've been getting a nick or so almost every video. This concentration is getting interrupted. All right. I'm going to rinse the razor off. And I forgot to rotate the other side of my uh, pickups. Okay. I'm gonna rinse my face off. Then I'm gonna do a cold water rinse because they say it helps with irritation. Helps close the pores. 
And I feel like my face is going to need a little bit of help because I can feel a little irritation already. The mustache area. I had a little bit from the last shape I did. Well, I tried using one of my open comb razors and it didn't really like to shave the way I'm used to now. All right. And to start the post shave, I will do Thayer's Unscented. The Unscented Witch Hazel. Help with this. Get a good palm full here. Mmm. Very refreshing. Alright. Yeah, I can feel that. This area was trying to heal before. And I kind of ag agitated it. Okay, let that sit. And I've still got some grain, but... I don't do a third pass. Okay. I can feel that witch hazel working too, and it's non-alcoholic. <laughs> Sounds like a drink. <laughs> Man, it's alcohol-free toner, for anyone not familiar with it. Aloe vera formula too, so I've had aloe vera from the cream, and I got aloe vera from the witch hazel. Man, look at all this cream I have left. Just from the three passes, I well, two passes and pickups. This just goes to show that a little bit can go a long way. <laughs> That's life for you. Alright, put that in. Today I'm going to use I'm gonna use some Brute Splash. It's not the aftershave, it's the Splash On. I like the smell of it too. It's real floral and real kind of powdery and good old fashioned. Oh yeah, it's going to burn. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it creeping in. Oh, it's gonna feel nice. Oh yeah, feel the heat. All right, if you don't know what my shirt says, it says, I do not know, wait, I do not know it all. I just can't remember it all at once. That goes for anything in life, especially wet shaving. <laughs> all right, put that splash on, let it sit for a moment. I feel it working. Oh man, it's so refreshing. I know I say that a lot, but I can't get enough. Okay. Next, I'm going to use some Nivea Men Energy Double Action Balm. It's some really good balm. It soothes and energizes after shaving. It comes in a 3.3 full ounce, 100 milliliter bottle. Instant Effect Q10. Work hard, play hard. Face every day with energy. It starts with you. Apply to whole face after shaving, avoiding eye area. Okay. Shake it up real good for y'all. Or for me. To put on for you. Just a little, a little bit on the finger. A little weeper. No go away. I'm approaching 24 minutes. My last video was like 25. Oh yeah. Feel that good burn. Feels really slick. I think I put on a little too much. But you can never put on too much. That's what a lot of people say. Because it's that good. And moisturizing. Okay. I want that suit. Go on my lips too. Ugh. Tastes kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Well, there we have it, folks. And this, and this was the cutting edge. I'm sorry. Let me go over what I used again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Macaroot shaving cream. A custom Greg Wagner Brian Griffin brush. I had I had him make for me. Here's the base again. the head. I'll tell you what, this is a very outstanding performing brush. It's a very, it's a very good like to Brian Griffin. I give it a very big thumbs up. <laughs> All right. 
And I also used, for the post shave, I started with the Witch Hazel. And I'm sorry, I forgot to tell, tell you what blade I was using. The Persona Red Platinum, super stainless. All right, I told you I used the Witch Hazel. The Nivea for Men Energy Double Action Bomb. And the aftershave is Splash On Original Fragrance Brute. I am running low. I'm going to have to get some pretty soon. Okay. And also plan on following up with the, the Brute Special Reserve Spray Cologne as well. Hmm. I forgot to do that one. About three or four sprays of that really works good. Oh. All right. And there we have it. That's the shave of the cutting edge. And I also want to show you something before I go. If you ever go to like Walmart or you know any place with little storage containers, like say if you're a Blades for example, get you like a crayon box like this, both sides open. I got it at Walmart for a dollar. It opens up like this. Look at all the Blades I put in there. I mean this, for a dollar, you can't go wrong. But for a dollar, yeah, that fits that many boxes. You can see all of them. Of all my blades, including my sample packs, and yeah, I just really wanted to share this with everybody. This is a very good tip for storage, unless you have like billions of blades in drawers. I mean, that's another thing. But this helps hold any extra little blades, keeps them from getting everywhere. All right, and that's that's the shave, and those are the items I've used. And thank you again for all your subscriptions and. And if you haven't already subscribed, I suggest you check out my videos and, and hit the little button below. <laughs> Alright. This was The Cutting Edge. Um, bye for now.